how do we how do we make an impact? How do we continue to grow as an organization? And then how can we make an impact in our community? The next thing you know, I'm on a call uh, with the coaches and with Andrew Barry. Um, and we're discussing okay, what can we do in the community? Um, you know, really, it, it started off as a, a series of informal discussions, you know, largely because we were all wrestling with, you know, many of the same, um, you know, issues this summer. so powerful about the organizations coming together is the level of engagement throughout the organization. We have leaders really spanning all levels, all aspects of both the Cavs, Browns, and Indians engaged in these endeavors. You know, specific to the Browns, that's football, business, CR, players, coaches, that like, it's it's truly, um, I guess, within the, within the DNA of the, within the organization. And that's been the case for the Cavs and the Indians as well. We're taking the responsibility on, we're gonna put ourselves out there, we're gonna take risks, uh, we're gonna have continued investment um, and commitment to these spaces. Um, and like I said before, you know, we have great ownership support, so it's on us to deliver. Um, and, and, and we're excited about that challenge. There are three working teams that are devoted to each one of the pillars. There's a task force um, associated with voting, a task force associated with law enforcement relations, and the third one being education. Starting with law enforcement relations, I think um, maybe as a foundation for all of the things we're seeking to do, I think we, and Kobe and Andrew both touched on it, we're really seeking to, as a starting point to understand and engage with stakeholders in each of these areas to both understand what are the challenges that they're facing and then how can we lend our support to help address them maybe in a unique way. So engaging in those conversations to help figure out how do we bridge the relationship between law enforcement, and then um, the various different communities in Cleveland, specifically the black and brown communities. Uh, some of the ugly truths that we, we talk about all the time are just the inequities of education and the digital divide. In terms of voting, um, you know, we've, we've really, uh, it's really been two-pronged. The first is really kind of running a campaign of awareness, you know, PSAs, making sure that people actually get out to get registered to vote. Um, even within our, uh, you know, our own teams, we ensure that like all of our uh, players and staff become registered to vote um, because it's just such so important in in uh, affecting change, uh, you know, locally. I think the fact that the you know the Browns, the Cavs, and the Indians all feel this is such important work, and that we're willing to partner together to help make an impact, has really connected that with our community. Sports is embedded in the the fabric of our society. We 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 just carry such a such a huge platform uh, and such visibility, and really quite honestly, so many resources that for something that matters beyond the court or the white lines or the baseball diamonds, you know, if we can't be leaders in the space or significant contributors, I really do feel like it's a shame on us. We need to step up in this moment. You know, I'm I'm with these guys. Um, and we're, we're proud of this thing and we're going to keep pushing.